We are on Knowledge 6, Lesson 2, The Earth and the Sun. Our first vocabulary word is gravity. Say gravity. Gravity is the force or pull of objects down to earth or toward each other. The next word is horizon. Say horizon. Horizon is the line in the distance where land or a body of water appears to meet the sky. And the last one is orbits. Say orbits. Orbits is a curved path that one object takes around another, usually in space. All plants, animal, and people rely on the sun for life. The sun's energy gives life to plants, which in turn provides food for animals and people. The sun's heat keeps the surface of the earth warm enough for plants and animals to survive. For people on earth, it makes sense to say that the sun rises in the morning. Each morning at dawn, the sun appears on the horizon in the eastern sky. At dawn, some people say, look, the sun is coming up. This first appearance of the sun above the eastern horizon is called the sunrise. Over the course of the day, the sun appears to move across the sky, gradually following its path from east to west. In the evening, the sun sets in the west. Ever so slowly, it gets lower in the sky and disappears below the horizon. That's when people say the sun is going down. The disappearance of the sun below the western horizon is called the sunset. So based on what we can see from where we live on Earth, it seems sensible to say that the sun moves across the sky each day, rising or moving up in the east, in setting or sinking down in the west. But that's not actually true. It's the daily rotation or spin of the Earth that makes the sun appear to rise and set each day. The Earth spins or rotates on its axes. Imagine the Earth's axes is an imaginary pole sticking through the center of the planet from north to south, or top to bottom in this picture. It takes 24 hours or one day for the Earth to spin or rotate all the way around one time. This daily rotation explains why there is always night and day on Earth. As it spins, certain parts of Earth's surface faces the sun, receiving its heat and light. When it is light on one side of the Earth, it is dark on the other side. So if it is daytime where you are now, then on the other side of the Earth, it is nighttime and the children there are sound asleep. And when you are nestled in your bed tonight, children on the other side of the planet will be waking up to a bright new day. The spinning or rotating of the Earth, however, is not the only way Earth moves in space. Because Earth is a planet, it also moves or revolves around the sun. The word planet means a large object in space that revolves around a star for light. And remember that the sun is a star and provides the Earth with the light it needs. Earth moves or revolves around the sun following a constant path. The path that Earth follows around the sun is called the Earth's orbit. Earth follows the same path as it revolves around or orbits the sun. It takes about 365 days or one year for Earth to make one complete orbit or revolution around the sun. But how and why does the Earth or orbit the sun? The answer to this question involves one of the most important lessons you can learn in the study of astronomy. In space, there are large objects like the sun, and there are smaller objects like the earth and the moon. All objects in space actually pull on all other objects, but larger objects pull harder than the smaller objects. That force that causes objects to pull on each other is called gravity. As this pulling action happens, the force of the sun's gravity holds earth in its place. Although earth continues to follow its orbit around the sun, the Earth does not wander off into space. Just as the Sun pulls on the Earth and other objects out in space, the Earth pulls on objects on or near its surface. Because of this, your feet stay planted firmly on the ground. If you throw a ball in the air, it falls back down too. This force of gravity holds things on the ground and holds the planet Earth in an orbit around the Sun. You cannot tell that the Earth is always moving as you sit in your classroom or wherever you happen to be. It rotates or spins all day and every day as it travels in its year-long course around the Sun. These two types of movement, the rotation and the orbit of the Earth, create the days and years that we keep track of on a calendar. And that is the end of the read aloud for today. 
You may now go ahead and click on the Google form to answer the questions about today's read aloud.